family-friendly World War II, Call of Duty World War II. I remember when this was coming out, it's already been five years, hasn't it? This was COD's push back to boots on the ground, right? <laughs> As Angry Joe would say. And I totally miss this era of Call of Duty. I remember the loot boxes being meme, the supply drops, if you will. And I kind of want to go back in time with Modern Warfare 3 as a recording that's on the horizon. I figured, uh, take a little bit of a trip down memory lane. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> God damn it, it's a joke. It's a joke. Just calm down. Badger and I share very similar sentiments. YouTube monetization. Enemy AC 130 above. Oh my God. Shut up, clock in and load up. Welcome to World War II, the most brutal, savage conflict in the history of mankind. Uh, I think World War One surpasses that, I think. I th I'm pretty sure World War One was, and both are awful, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure World War One was a little more rough when you have like Ossowick and chemical warfare and trench war. Uh, pretty sure World War One takes it. Or does two take it? I actually don't know. I'm very curious the mass opinion in the comment section. Oh, whoa, hey, we're not going with brutal and savage. We agreed on intense and tumultuous. tumultuous. This is a family friendly video, remember? Welcome to Call of Duty World War II, a game that features what we like to call high impact family friendly violence. The brand of violence that you've come to know and love for the past six minutes since I wrote this script. And to show you what I mean, Private Bradford here is going to demonstrate the use of a friendliness thrower. It throws friendliness. It throws friendliness, yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> also a joke. Badger hit that base and I actually recoiled. <laughs> God, I love it. I'm really just kidding, which is semantics anyways, because I'm already demonetized. Yeah. So I kick things off like I do every year with the campaign and I could not be more indifferent. Like it's not outstanding, but it's not egregious either. If I, I really haven't heard anything about COD World War II's campaign. Like I've really heard next to nothing about it. I feel like this tracks though. Just people were like, it's an campaign. <laughs> I can condense it down into one word. It's just unremarkable. Every Call of Duty game that I have ever played has moments that I will remember until my dying breath. Yeah. Nice yeah. The watermelon. Nice. Oh, God, nice. that watermelon. Your fruit killing skills are remarkable. Why, Susie? Wait. Guys. Was Modern Warfare the first Fruit Ninja game? Confirmed a oh, whoa? Oh, that's how it's <laughs> No rush. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. There's apparently. Was it Modern Warfare 3 that's coming out and is having another segment of this? I think. Oh, God. I can't imagine No Rush and being done in a modern games industry. I can't. You have to pay respect. <laughs> yeah. I know a great junior high school just down the road. Follow me. But what? this one didn't have any. I mean, Sergeant Pearson played by Josh Duhamel being a dick is kind of funny, but that's barely noteworthy. That's just Josh Duhamel being Josh Duhamel. I don't give a shit! <laughs> And in case you were a fan of World at War, be warned that this game is only about the Western Front. There's no fighting as the Russians, and there's no fighting in the Pacific. But in case you need a refresher, <laughs> the Pacific campaign in Japan was basically just... I mean, by the end of it, technically, but oh my god. Fat Electrician, which if you haven't, if you're coming here for the Badger video and you haven't seen the Fat Electrician yet, you should absolutely check out the Fat Electrician. Excellent content creator. Uh, we've been going over to Pacific Theater in the last uh, couple videos. Yeah, the Pacific Theater, there was a lot more to that. The meme tracks, though. I like the meme. Don't get me wrong. But God, the Pacific Theater is just just built different. 
and the Eastern Front was essentially just the Soviet Union throwing millions of people at the problem, <laughs> freezing the Germans to death with harsh winters, and rushing B for Berlin while screaming, Then I decided to hop into multiplayer and was immediately reminded that although I'm on PC, I'm still playing a Call of Duty game. So if you thought the community was toxic on Xbox Live, ooh, you've clearly ooh, never- Get out ooh, of your face! Ooh, ooh, I don't know how that- <laughs> Can't say that word on the platform. Hey! <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened, chat. Nothing was on screen. Don't worry about oh, it. Nothing really happened. Like 360. Oh, wow. I had no idea we were on Xbox Live on that PC. That came out of nowhere. Ooh, was... Online interactions are not. Online interactions not rated by ESRB. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I was so not prepared for this. I was so not. Angry. Now, because I know it's difficult to see through the hyperbole sometimes, here's a clear statement before I go any further. This game is extremely fun. It may be mindless fun that feeds off of fast reflexes, but it's still undoubtedly fun. Now, it's, it's okay, chat. I don't know what you're talking about. There's just a picture of Bobo Bo on the screen. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. There was just a picture of Bobo 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 up on the screen. Like, I, there, there was no chat. There's nothing. Don't worry about it. It was, it was fine. Back to what I was saying. <laughs> as soon as I dove into multiplayer, I started leveling up like I was Captain America, and I didn't know about it at the time, but apparently Sledgehammer forgot to turn off double <sighs> XP and accidentally triggered triple XP, so I cruised to accidentally, quote unquote, max rank in less than two days. Yeah. Excuse me, Susan, we're, we're getting a live patch in from the CEO now. He had a statement for us. <laughs> the headquarter system is pretty neat in that you can open up supply drops in front of other players, undertake new challenges for sweet loot and XP, and even observe players that have received so many times that they've ascended beyond the need for legs. Ascended. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> I hate that I even have to say this, but in light of recent blunders by unnamed developers, unnamed. I didn't at all feel like the supply drops made the game pay to win and never felt disadvantaged because of microtransactions. So you can rest easy and put your wallet back in your pants. Heck yes! War is the game mode that I love the most because it's something beyond team deathmatch and wandering around the map looking for somebody to shoot in the face where you get to storm Omaha Beach, escort tanks to objectives, and even build bridges. Hey, look, it's, it's working. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> oh. Get that motherfucker. Wait a minute. <laughs> They're in the briefing. We're gonna operation build the fucking bridge. We're gonna be building a bridge. <laughs> it's not perfectly balanced because as you can imagine, it's hard to make running up a beach at a machine gun nest fair for the attackers, no. but the games are surprisingly close most of the time, and it's a blast when it's your turn to be on the MG42, cutting people down like a lawnmower. Jeez, boys, I hope we don't have to invade Normandy. That'd be rough. That'd be rough. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, I did find it pretty hilarious that Sledgehammer lets you participate in gruesome assaults like Omaha Beach, yet they ban all kinds of not at all offensive clan tags. What? Beans? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. They, they don't allow you to have thick. As a oh, that's bad. Plantech? Because it's <laughs> profanity? Yeah. Uh, see, see, that's why we have to say it with three C's, chat. That's not profane. And it also exemplifies the, the thickness, if you will. I can't say it with a straight face. Like, seriously, with one C? T H I C is text prohibited due to profanity. Rushing a beach, you know, getting mowed down by machine gun nests, totally fun. Having thick as a clan tag? Definitely not. Demonetize. No. Nope. That's gonna be a no. Oh, what the fuck? But whatever. Who cares about clan tags when you can throw down emotes like reaching a side of your own anus while laughing? <laughs> and even back in the 1940s, you know I had to do it to him. <laughs> the pump shoddy was my weapon of choice because if you run the expeditionary class, you can equip fire rounds, which when combined with the hustle perk for rapid reloading is Awful. basically running around shooting people with bootleg fireworks. I love it. They I hate everything for about so this though. They so long and they're really loud. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can respawn and then come back to the same spot and that guy will still be sizzling there. That's disgusting. Yeah, look at that. He's on the end game screen. He's still on fire. What? Oh, that guy's toast. 10 seconds left. 
I f was this really this bad in World War II? Like, was this really, like... This almost seems like a problem. I feel like even the Human Torch would say, whoa, man, you gotta, you gotta cut back. That's a little bit too much flame. And as an added bonus, it causes maximum butt frustration among the enemy team, which yeah. is arguably more fun than shooting someone in the face with a Roman candle. Oh, that's four for four, my man. Oh my Fire God. Fire shotgun. Oh, oh. He's, he's, so so mad. Mad. <laughs> he's so mad. He's so mad. He's so shotgun. mad. He's so oh, tilted. Get good. You're lucky we're World War II Badger. That'd be a war crime. <laughs> In case the shoddy isn't your cup of tea, you can always use the shovel meme. And yes, there are plenty of players named shovel memes on PC. Shovel memes? What? Oh, yeah. I don't know what wow, it's been a hot minute since I've heard Tourette's guy. Wow. What it is about shovel users, but they always seem to be slimy enough to dodge whatever bullets you fire at them and still manage to smash you over the head. It's like they were born to 360 dolphin dive. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Well, You'll you probably do it. Uh, what is this? I've never seen this. What is this? They were born to 360 dolphin dive. What is what? What? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Well, You'll you probably do it. I've never, I've never actually seen that. Like I've seen, like in Halo Infinite, how you can kind of like jump, throw the flag in CTF. You can like jump, throw the flag, and then like you can kind of like relay race it that way a little bit faster. I've never seen this diving technique. Oh, I got him. Yeah, look, he does three. No, I, He's about to get set on fire, though. Oh fuck! It's like guys. Look at him. I'm trying to witness art. I'm blown away. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? But if you're completely focused on tilting the entire enemy team, go with the STG because it's so deadly and so versatile. You'll be constantly holding more kill streaks than you know what to do with. You best not be on this hard point, boy. Is this a is this a triple? Oh or a no! Maybe? Oh no! <laughs> oh baby! Ooh. There it is. <laughs> it was split up game. <laughs> Wow. I just got a quadra oh, no, kill right? with my fighter pilots somehow. And things get even juicier when you play gridiron. And in case you're European or you've never heard of it, it's very similar to American football, where we take the very best athletes in our country and then spectate them giving each other concussive brain damage. <laughs> Only in Call of Duty, everybody's carrying assault rifles, which is obviously a little bit more intense and arguably even more American. <laughs> Outside of cough, ripping down the sideline at a blistering pace to the 50, to the 40, to the 30. Fuck that guy. I got him. Don't worry. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, USA. Well, I had one such game Amazing. where the intensity was a little too high for my team and all of them quit except for one guy. So Aww. I decided to shift into maximum overdrive with the STG and had the enemy team more shook than the Seahawks in 2015. There is... <laughs> the entire enemy queen team quits ha there's only one of them everybody guys that one person is the russian badger <laughs> it's fine we can take him badger stg44 <laughs> takes a sip of white monster <laughs> it's an even fight gentlemen <laughs> wow <laughs> oh my god and as much as call of duty has like legitimately that's one of those xbox live lobbies you would get like six friend requests after change with this latest iteration some things never change and grenade spam being an effective tactic is definitely one of them what the fuck? What? I know Gross. exactly what that dude's sitting due to radar. Are you ready? Dude, cash. Wow. I told you. Cash. That's cash. That's... Oh, yes, baby. The double kill. Shaq pulls up at the free throw line and... Cash. Nice. Right there. Those Hockey grenades. I tell you what. Jordan oh. fades back. <laughs> 
swoosh, and that's the game. They're pissed. But my biggest recommendation of all, don't get lit on fire. Because no. contrary to every edgy 14-year-old that cranks XXX Tentacion on their way to English class, getting what? lit is not lit. Listen here, you sack of I, I guess I'm, bo I'm I'm a boomer. I have no idea any of what was... I, I know obviously lit meme, right? I, I uh, That whole thing just went right over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm planning a bomb. Yeah, got, one. Okay. got two. And I'm. Oh, you planned it? All right. Yeah, I'm planning it. Oh my goodness! You are you are now bratwurst rip. <laughs> no wait, we're American. You're a hot dog. Whoops. <laughs> Press F to pay respects. And that's about it. I would like to thank you very much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time when we try not to get polio. <laughs> You know, how do grocery stores sell these chocolate chip cookies for $5? <laughs> you know the ones. Within the bakery section, there's like 40 goddamn cookies in this thing. What is this sorcery? I'm done with YouTube. I'm now a cookie monster. <laughs> it's your boy. <laughs> More beecher. <laughs> oh my god. I just... It's such a good video. That was great. Tintashian uh, is a musician. I had no idea, being completely honest. This was amazing. As somebody that completely missed out on COD World War II, this was a very interesting, uh, very interesting look back, especially now that we have Modern Warfare 3 on the horizon. And apparently, we do have new No Russian, and apparently it's bad, apparently. But... God, what were your thoughts? Did you play Modern Warfare 2? Did you like Modern Warfare 2? Do you think that, uh... What are your thoughts on the campaign? Was it equally as meh? Or was it actually kind of good? Let me know in the comments section. As always, if you haven't, you should definitely go check out the Russian Badger. He puts out some awesome content. We are going through his backlog, but he really just continues to put out amazing work. And I will see you in the next one.